Super League Team 7 Shooting Lessons Scary and this my little sister. Hello everyone, my name is Raipan I am standing in UKG. Welcome to another video of my channel, Code and Build with Shruti. Today we are going to see how to make QR Code Creator and QR Code Scanner app. Let's quickly see how the app works. This is my app. When you click QR Scan, it will scan the QR Code. And when you click QR Create, it will create the QR Code. Now let's create it. After clicking the QR create, the page will appear like this. I'm going to give it to be hello for now. And I'm going to click the button QR generate. Now after you generate the QR code, you're going to go to the other mobile. I'm going to give it to be QR scan and scan the QR code. Now as you see, it's given hello. And if you want to paste, copy paste some link, when you give open link, the link will be opened. Today, we are going to see the designing part of the app. Let's quickly go to the designing part. Now, I'm in my computer. Let's quickly see the designing part of the QR codes creator and scanner app. This time, I'm not going to do an MIT app inventor or code.org. I'm going to do it in a new platform known as Codaloo. The first thing to go inside the new platform named as the Codaloo, you could just search Codaloo in Google and click the first thing, codaloo.home. And let's wait till it loads up. And now we're going to give create apps to create apps. Now, the screen has appeared. Now, today, I'm not going to do anything from scratch. Instead, I'm going to show you how I made my app. So, if you want to make a new project, you're going to just give create, uh, create project and name your project. So, as I made already, I'm going to click the QR sc uh, scanner and make an app. Yes. So, now, this is my app. Today, we are going to learn the designing part. I'm not going to do from the scratch anyway, but I'll be explaining what are the components used and how it is uh, programmed in my next video. So in my first of all, in screen one, you're going to give a background image to be anything. And this is totally optional. Like uh, when, uh, when your app opens, it should start with your logo. So I just searched Google and got a logo for the QR code scanner and creator. Not exactly creator, but instead I got this image. And then you're going to give a title to this. So as you see, QR code cre uh, creator and um, scanner and creator, you're going to go scroll down. And here you're going to give your title right here. And after you give your title, you're going to add a component known as clock. So after you add your clock, you're going to give add screen button right here and add a new screen for the main screen. But before that, to know where did the clock come from, you could just instead search instead of, you know, searching right here. You could just give this button known as search and search clock thing and just drag and drop it inside. Now, as I already have one, no need of it. So now, for adding a new screen, you're just going to give add a new screen and you're going to name a screen. So it could be screen to main screen and it could be anything. For now, I'm going to give cancel. And now, as you see, I have two screens, screen one and main screen. In my main screen, I did my main work right here. As you saw, uh, I showed my app. There were two buttons, QR code scan and QR code create. The first thing which I opened it, uh, I did was added a vertical arrangement right here and then added two buttons and named this to be QR scan and QR create. So when I click QR scan, it scans my QR code and gives the result here. When I click open link, it goes to that particular link. And when I go to QR code create, which is my vertical arrangement number two, it will be like this uh, to just show you very clearly. I'll just remove this. So QR code create, it will be like this, where I could enter my text to be uh, gen generated to be a QR code. 
uh, you're going to just write the text like, hello, I'm Shruti. And when I give QR code generate, it will generate a QR code that you could scan and the message will be derived in that, uh, in that particular way. Uh, you could use this in many ways, like any uh, to do a secret message as we did in my, the last video and other ways too. So now uh, let me go to the vertical arrangement num number one, and I'm going to give this to be visible and this to be non-visible. So now, as you know, that uh, first thing which I added are two buttons. Later, first I'm going to add a vertical number arrangement number one. And after that, I added the space here. So there'll be some amount of space between the buttons. And after that, I added three uh, button one, button one, button three, which is the open link or uh, the QR code thing. I added this to be a button or even you could add it to be an image too. But I added this to be a button. And after that, the result will be right here. So to know the result, I have added label number three where the result will be right here. And open link is button number four, where when I click open link, that particular message or that particular link in the QR code will be, when I give open link, it'll go and search in Google. So the next thing uh, which I did is the vertical arrangement number two. So let me give this to be visible and this to be non-visible. So in the vertical arrangement number two, what I did was added two spaces. So there'll be some amount of gap and added a text box, of course, where I could actually type my message to be generated as QR code. Uh, for the hint, it's totally optional even for the hint. You could just click this. I gave the hint right here, write your text to be generated. And I gave the hint color too and other uh, uh, things right here where you could give the properties of each thing. And now this is my... Uh, vertical arrangement number two over here i added a space right here i added a space text box space button and image and the image is right here i made it non-visible because uh i made it visible in the block section which i'll be uh, telling you why in the further on next video so i made this to be non-visible as you see, so that is where the QR code is there. Uh, so I've given programming part to be true uh, only when I click the QR code generate. So it's in that way. And this is how the designing part is fully there. And the main prop, uh, things over here are before that, let me just give this to be visible and this to be non visible. And right here, you could see some other components right here, which is barcode scanner. And the barcode scanner is nothing but uh, for scanning the QR code, uh, I mean barcode or the QR code, because it could scan both. And activity starter, QR code one. And I gave sharing, it's totally optional, but I gave sharing to try it out. So this, this is the program uh, designing part of the whole app. And if you like like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video where we, where we are going to see the programming part of it. Please wait for my next video to learn the programming part of the app. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like, share and comment with my video and subscribe my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then. Bye.